fortunate to be married with children. I love the Mazda 6. However, you do not need to be a family man to enjoy this car. Point being, my 10-year-old son, who when he saw this car this morning, died and wanted to come to today's shoot. Unfortunately, I had to say no, but I couldn't blame him. Look at it. The front clip looks like it's an animal ready to pounce. The sides have got great curves, 19-inch wheels. It sits low and wide and baby's got back. Right off the bat, the 19-inch rims will surprise you. The ride is excellent, quiet, and smooth. To give you an idea, we're on the North Expressway right now and we're traveling at the prescribed speed limit. The camera that you're watching this segment on is not mounted to the window or on a gimbal. It's actually on a tripod. Pretty cool. The interior is elegant. It's got a posh look, touch, and feel to it. I mean, even the plastics on the dashboard are cool. And what's worth mentioning is the brown accents on an all-black interior. It just adds to its already premium feel. The heads-up display and instrument cluster are well thought and visible even through direct afternoon sun. Up and down the center console, the climate controls, commander knob, and neighboring buttons have a premium feel and notch feedback. Let's talk about space. The trunk alone has a capacity of over 500 liters. Massive. It's got a flat bed with no lip, so it makes lifting and pushing heavier items a breeze. Plus, if you put the 6040 rear seats down, you've got well over 1,600 liters of space. That's huge. You could literally fit the entire cast of Cirque du Soleil back there. Think about it. What? What is that noise? What's up? Right. Anyway, uh, Mazda's infotainment system comes equipped with a six-speaker Bose system, which sounds pretty good if you ask me. And plus, navigating the touchscreen is pretty easy. However, there is a drawback when you use the sat-nav. See, you pay an extra 3,000 pesos for the SD card just to use the sat-nav, and sadly, when you do, the system bogs down to a halt. Pretty sad. The Mazda 6 technological and safety accompaniments include driver and passenger side airbags with curtains on the side, you've got DSC, you've got iStop, and even IE Loop. Now, iStop is easy enough to explain. When you're in traffic, the car is in gear, and when you stop the car, the engine goes off to save fuel. The IE Loop, a little bit different. The easiest way to explain IE loop is that when you're driving and you take your foot off your gas, as your car's slowing down, all that wasted energy is turned into electricity and saved into a capacitor. Now that capacitor feeds the electricity to all the driver systems that you may need, making your ride as pleasant as ever, whilst saving you up to 10% on your horsepower. While Mazda Sky Active technology is a blessing on its own, enough said, some people still feel that this car needs a little bit more oomph. Like perhaps 
Skyactiv diesel that's available on the CX-5 and the Mazda 6 sedan, which we feel really would be a great addition to this estate car. And finally, I know this may be nitpicking, but maybe a power tailgate? I mean, it would add to its already premium feel. You know, like uh, a nice cab sab with a steak. This was some time ago, but I remember watching movies where the family wagon was portrayed as the grossest thing on the planet. Nobody wanted to be anywhere near it. It made you uncool. It was mom's car. It was worse than a hearse, really. And being dropped off at school in it, or worse, being dropped off at the prom in it, that cemented your uncool status. Now that was then. If this particular car were the family wagon back then, I don't think you'd see much of this at all. Antonio, ice cream for the keys? Chocolate?